Welcome, guys, to the Recruiter Call Channel. Today, we're looking at GTS Transportation out of Burr Ridge, Illinois. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? GTS is looking for drivers to come drive for them. They offer three opportunities for you guys. They have a comp, they have, and they're all... 1099. They have a company side that starts you off at 70 cent. They have a lease side that's at 80%. And they offer a lease rental side, which I believe is 80%. Make sure you find out a little bit more about it when you call. GTS solo drivers, they have the high. They have high earning solo driver opportunities with better pay, home time, and miles. Types of freight you haul, it will be drive in and refrigerated. The requirements, the requirements, you got to have at least one year of CDL experience, clean MVR, and reasonable PSP report. You will haul all types of freight. Options for dropping hook as well as no touch freight. They operate in 48 states and they are paid on all miles. Some of the benefits that they offer, which is weekly settlements with direct deposit up to 70 cents per mile, as I said, stated earlier, depending on experience and driving history. So if your driving history is kind of shot, you still might have a chance to get in with them, but you won't be starting at that good 70 cent per mile. Monthly safety bonuses, healthcare, dental, vision, and life insurance is available. Okay. Some of their biggest comp some of their biggest customers are UPS, UPSS, FedEx, Amazon and many more rare housing companies. With all those customers that they are transporting for, let's see what else they got to offer in the call. Morning, GTS Transportation, this is Carmen. Hey, good morning, how's it going? Good, how are you, sir? Oh, it's going, it's going good, it's going good. So. You know, I'm I'm out here in Ohio. Um, actually, I'm on the turnpike, and you know, I'd, I I come across you guys trucks and trailers all the time, and I I read the information that's on the back. So mm -hmm. I I guess I just mustered up the time while I'm on the turnpike again, just to give you guys a call to to find out what's really going on and what's what you guys really have to offer. You mind if I take a couple of minutes of your time to sign, uh, the, the, to find out what everything on the back of this truck is about? Sure, go right ahead. How much experience you guys are looking for? At least a year. A year? Oh, okay, okay. So are you guys a W-2 and a 1099 or just a 1099? Just 1099. Just 1099. Okay, so that means I'm responsible for all of my benefits and, and taxes and everything? Yes. Okay, so is this 1099? At this comp point. At oh, this point. At this point. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, 1099 company or 1099 leasing? Um, we have both. Oh, okay, okay. We okay. have a lease and we have... We have company positions and we have a lease position. Good, good. The okay. The uh, company position is seventy cents a mile, mm -hmm. and the lease is eighty percent. Eighty percent split. Eighty percent of the load and seventy cent per mile. Now coming in, coming in at seven years of experience is what I have. Was seven? Would I get more than seventy cent a mile, or is that just flat in the door? Seventy is our high side. Yeah, it's uh, flat in the door. That's a, that's as high as we go. Gotcha. Uh, Pre-employment drug screening. Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Urine. Urine. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. now the tip on that for a second. Would I be doing all my my pre-employment uh, drug screening before I get to you guys, or when I'm at orientation? 
day one of orientation. You'll do your drug screen and you'll do your road test on day one of orientation. Awesome. Okay, so I'm from Ohio. Of course, mm-hmm. you guys is in Illinois. Um, I mean, how would you guys get me up there? So um, we ask that the drivers get themselves to Chicago. And okay. then for company drivers, we will reimburse you upon successful completion of orientation. Okay. Um, we reimburse you on your first paycheck. Awesome. For your travel. Awesome. We take care of the hotel. Okay. Um, you know, we'll take care of the hotel. We'll take care of your lunch while you're at orientation. Mm-hmm. Um, and then once everything's done, it'll be on your first paycheck. With, if, as long as you turn in your receipts. Okay. Okay. So let's just say everything goes good. I'm in the door. Uh, what What are your What are your trucks? I mean, I see them, <laughs> but what are your trucks? Uh, what What are the equipments? Uh, that you guys have, and what are they governed at? Freightliner Cascadia's. Oh, they're governed at sixty-eight for a company, mm-hmm. and seventy for the lease. Oh, um, okay. you do have Passmart, so you'll be able to do seventy for thirty minutes every eight hours. Okay, that's on the company side, or or on the lease side. Mm-hmm. The lease is governed at seventy, but the company's governed at sixty-eight. The company's the one that's got the seventy, you know, the Passmart to get you seventy miles an hour. All right. And you did mention Cascadia's. Do you guys have Volvos and everything too, or just, just that? Yeah, we have Freightliner Cascadia's and we have Volvo 760s and they're all 2020s or newer. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, driver cameras inside of them? Yes. Inward facing and outward facing. Mm. And they're critical event cameras. We're not just turning it on and watching you. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes that's a deal breaker for, for most drivers. Um, all right. Uh, what, what, what's some of the amenities that you guys have and what's the, what's the tablet system for my ELD? Um, you're going to have DITAP mobile dispatch and Sam Sarah. Awesome. I'm familiar with Sam Sarah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we go over, we go over DITAP and, um, we will give you a, you know, refreshed with Sam Sarah. We go over all that information and orientation. It's really user-friendly. Awesome. Awesome. Um, refrigerators, inverters, everything like yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Refrigerator, um, inverters, APUs. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So you did mention 80, no, no, 80% of the low on leasing, uh, for 1099. Yeah. Um, so would the truck, would that be like renting uh, rent. I'm sorry, renting the truck, or would I be like purchasing, you know, like a lease purchase through you guys leasing? So we have two options. Yes, ma'am. We have two options. We have the lease rent, and that's the 80% with no money down, and that's a six month contract. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have a lease purchase, and that's a three year contract, and we do require 10% down. Most of the trucks are in the hundred thousand dollar range. Um, <sighs> So um, some are a little higher and some are a little lower. I, so we do have those two options. Man, the hundred thousand, the six figure range, huh? Would I be able? Mm-hmm. Would, would I be able to pay for all of that at the end of three years? And if so, how much would I be paying every week? Um, on the trucks themselves, if you have the down payment, that is something that you would have to talk to somebody in that department because. Mm-hmm. Each one has its own parameters of, um, you know, it's based on how much you put down, what the what the price of the truck is. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is somebody else. I would just be able to get you qualified and talk oh, to them. Okay. I can talk to you about the rent, the the rental program. Mm-hmm. But as far as the lease, he's there. I don't have that contract. That's somebody else. All right. Now let me ask you this. Um, with with that mm-hmm. said, um. Like dispatches, for example, because you know I'm I'm going to need to I'm going to need some good loads in order to mm-hmm. you know to take care of my my obligations and make a profit. Um, would I right. be able to choose? Would I be able to choose my own loads, or you would would I be dispatched the loads? And if I'm you'll, be, di- you'll uh, be dispatched, we don't have you won't have access to a load board. You're dispatched. We do have our dispatchers always look for the best, highest paying loads for their drivers. Mm-hmm. It's going to get you the most miles and the most money. Um, oh. But no, you do not have access to pick your own loads on a load board. 
Now, you know what? Let me ask you this because a friend of mine, you know, in the Facebook group kind of kind of touched on this subject. Um, okay. So let's say, for example, I just happened to come across a load that I did find, you know, on one of the load boards out there. Could I suggest that mm -hmm. to to my dispatcher to see if he's able to get that? That is something I can ask. I do not know that. Mm -hmm. um, I will. I will have to get that answer for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's that's honest. Thank you. <laughs> I don't you. know. I've never been asked that before. <laughs> Thank I'm not going to tell you yes if I don't know the answer. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I appreciate your honesty there. Um. All right. So. Yeah. So of course for the lease side. Uh, for the for the lease side, there's no force dispatch. I'm assuming, but for the company side, are 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 we force dispatched? Technically, yes. Mm. Not gonna lie to you. Technically, yes. <laughs> do you guys have Do you guys have low? You're going? gonna learn with the dispatchers what they have and what what the freight is. So, I mean, you can you can tell them kind of what you want, but. If they if that's all they have, then we ask you to take it. Gotcha. Do they do do they have loads that goes up in the northeast? Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is that where you're from, or no, you no, want, no, 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 no. I'm from the do, no, no. You know? I'm I'm from the Midwest, but the the force dispatch in the northeast kind of like go hand in hand because I'm not a fan of 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 the northeast. So <laughs> okay. Um. All right, uh, so you say that the dispatchers will be able to give us the the best miles uh, and the top pay and everything. For the company guys, what, what is your company guys averaging uh, mileage wise, you know? We're trying to get them 10,000 miles a month. Okay. Um, we're, we're trying to get them 10,000 miles a month. So based on that, it's, between 16 and 17 a week. Okay. Okay. I'm awesome. not going to promise you anything higher than that. Now, if, right. if you run more, if you're able to run more, then you'll make more. And I just found out, yes, if you if you find out information on the load, you let your dispatcher know, and they will try to take care of that for you. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, all right. So how, how, how much home time did I get? Like, for example, I'm from Ohio. Would I just what be... What state do you live in? Okay. Oh. Ohio, you're good. Two weeks on the road, and we'll be able to definitely get you home. Oh, okay, okay. Pet and rider policy, and how old? And well, not how old, but how young can I bring my rider? There's need to be 18 or older, based on our insurance policy. You can have one additional person in the vehicle besides yourself, and pets are no charge as long as, um, as long as there's no damages when you turn the truck in. Awesome. If they have to go through extensive cleaning, it's the minimum uh, 250 but not everybody gets charged that based on the condition that they turn the trucks in. Awesome. Awesome. Um, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We have to have the five years. Oh, man. That, we have that, to have five years in between the incident. When's yours? Gotcha. Um. And if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn I saw on the back of the trailer that you guys offer a sign-on bonus. Am I correct in saying we that? We do not have a sign-on bonus. Oh, okay. Then that's no, the wrong. Sorry. Wrong, wrong truck. Potential, you have, <laughs> no, you're good. We have potential driver bonuses, a $1,000 a month driver bonus based on your driver's habits, not getting any violations, being on time, um, you know, just general performance. You do have the option of getting a monthly bonus. Awesome. We don't have a sign-on bonus. All right, cool, awesome. Well, you know what? This was, this was some good information. Thank you very much. Um, I will definitely no share. I will definitely share this with my network of drivers. Um, but okay. yeah, I'm. You know, I'm. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of leasing. Uh, it's it's a lot mm -hmm. of it's it's a lot of variables that goes with leasing. Mm -hmm. But the uh, but the company side, that's that's something a little bit more more my speed, uh, but I have to get well, over. And we the have drivers that will start company and can jump over to the lease side. Once you get your feet wet and you learn how our process goes, 
Mm-hmm. If it's something you want to try, it's a six month contract. You can try the lease side. And if it doesn't work out after six months, go back to company. Oh. We don't want anybody to fail. So we, we can work with you on that. Oh, okay, cool. Because usually when people just jump in the lease and, and it don't work out, they just get kicked to the curve. That's all. Um, no, we're, we're going to work with you. And that's, that's why we tell drivers, if you want to start on something just to, just to try, try our company out, try it for a few months, and then you can jump over to the lease side once you feel established. So, Not a problem. Thank you very much for that. Um, I do have mm-hmm. one last question. And I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, if you're able to answer this. But there's been a, a lot of, of of Chicagoland companies that that's kind of been doing drivers wrong as far as the the last mm-hmm. paycheck concern. So let's say for any reason that the marriage between me and G what GTS, you know, don't doesn't mm-hmm. continue and I bring the truck in and 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 you know follow protocol i guess you know bring the truck back where i got it from mm-hmm. turn the keys in will there be any problems with me getting my last paycheck no and um the, it normally takes for the for the escrow it normally takes 45 days to get that back and that's just to make sure there's no damages or claims or anything outstanding but your last paycheck no and if you if you go out right we do the same we're not going to hold you you we're not going to keep your last paycheck um that's why we have the we've got a uh $2,500 escrow and that's broken down into weekly payments um it's 100 a week for our company drivers and 250 a week for the lease drivers and that comes back to you provided you do you go out right you don't have any damages don't have any claims then you get that back it does take 45 days but you get that back and anything that any loads that you've done that last week you're paid that just like you would any other time. Awesome. Well, ma'am, thank no, we're you. We're not one of those companies that just steals your last paycheck. That's that's not right. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. Awesome conversation. No I really do. I really appreciate your time, and I will definitely share this information with uh, with with my network of drivers. So, thank you very much, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. Now. There you have it, everybody. GTS Transportation out of Burr Ridge, Illinois. Awesome conversation. Awesome call. Really good uh, information that this lady recruiter provided for us today. Uh, it The whole company is 1099. You're a 1099 company driver as well as a 1099 lease driver. Uh, I guess one thing that I didn't get a chance to ask her was how much was the trucks per week? Um, but she did mention that the trucks are uh, are six figures or less. So that should give you a ballpark of how much you're paying uh, every week for their trucks. All right. 70 cent mileage pay for the company drivers that's regardless of how much experience you have. If you have a year, you come in at 70. And if you have 20 years, you're still coming in at 70. Uh, one good thing about uh, this takeaway is the fact that they won't mess with your money at the end of the period. So say, for example, the love, <laughs> the love lost between you and the company just do right by the company by getting the truck in per protocol. And you should have no problems getting your last paycheck on time. Now, as far as the escrow, of course, you have to wait 45 days for that to be returned to you. Drivers, what's your thoughts on this company? If If you drive for this company, let us know how they treating you. Are they treating you good? Are they treating you bad? Let us know. Who's next? Next, next, next.